Happy Wednesday Night Live. How is everybody doing? Hi Paige. I'm seeing people joining. Hello everybody. Hi Gracie Buran. I'm glad you're watching. Mommy misses you. Hey Lindsay, I see you on Facebook. Hi mom. I'm gonna give it a few minutes. Hi everybody. I'm so glad you're joining. It's good to see everybody. There was a little bit of sunshine today and I got my hair done. It was starting to look a little icky. I got my hair done, feel like a new woman, feeling better about life. Got my roots touched up. I like it when it's like dark like that, you know, so it's, it's feeling better. Let me see some hellos. Hey, Dorothy. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you guys are joining. Let's see. Hi, Anne. Hi, Susan. Thanks for coming on. Let me see here if I can check and see who else is on. I hope everybody is doing well. These are, look at all these fun products we're going to be talking about. I have so many new products that that's sort of the theme for tonight. I know it's weird without the kids. They'll be back next week. This whole like they have lives thing is throwing me off my game. I miss my co-host, right? But next week they'll be back with me and it'll be good to have everybody back. Hey, Megan, I see you on. All right, so let me first say how excited I was about all the names you guys came up with for the pig. I never in a million years thought you guys, that was so, you're so clever. I honestly, so many fun one. Um, so I, if you missed it, I posted a pig on both Facebook and Instagram. I posted the courtly check pig and I said, what would you name them? And you guys came up with the most clever things. There was some of my favorites were chubby checkers, which I thought that was very, very cute. Um, Hamilton was very cute. Penelope was very cute. I loved them. There were so many fun things. So anyways, I just, I have you all in here. The Baron kids were cutting out all of the names and all of your fun things, but I'm going to pick that winner for the $50 gift certificate just like halfway through so that as people sign on, we can kind of just check. Um, so it should be, should be fun, but man, you guys are clever. Next time I need like an advertising, I know who to ask. Holy smokes. Why, why do I even try? You're all much better than I. All right. So as we jump on here, I want to show you guys. So if you are, are new here, let me tell you how this works. What we do is every Wednesday night live, Wednesday night, we come on here, we go live. We always are doing different things. Sometimes it's a tutorial. Sometimes we're going to walk around the store. Sometimes it's the kids and I, sometimes it's just me. So it's always going to be a little bit different every, but you can count on every Wednesday at seven o'clock. We do, we go live. And then what we do is that I will give you the code for 20% off and you can go and shop. Now, if you come into the store, we have something very new. So I'm, I think I shared with you guys last week that my two very adorable, very young 21 and 23 year old nieces are starting to work at the store. And their fresh perspectives and fresh, fresh eyes are so wonderful because they, they know all the cool stuff. Like I think I'm like pretty cool and then they come in and I'm like, what is happening? Anyways, they said, Aunt Annie, you really need a QR code. I'm like, what is that? Well, here they go, they made one. So what you'll do is you can come into the store, you just take your phone, it's so easy. You take your phone and you pretend like you're gonna take a picture and then it'll pop up and it'll take you right to the website so it'll give you the sale pricing. So that's really, really gonna be a nice feature if you're ever coming in. I have seen them before, um, like restaurants and things are doing that, but who knew? Who knew I could do it? So I'm feeling very, very technology savvy. I'm getting better, you guys. I'm getting so much better. Anyways, so that's something new. Also something new at the store is I have added 42, 42 new brands. So they are all shipping. They're all coming. I really wanted, because you guys have supported this store so much, 
I really wanted to like dig deep into those little small companies around the country and that's exactly what I did. I found all kinds of smaller companies that I can really invest in. It's so awesome because I'm like communicating with the owners. I love that. I know that you guys do too. So there are going to be really unique things. And so as the weeks go on, I want to show you some fun things. Obviously, we're an authorized Mackenzie Childs dealer. So we always have Mackenzie Childs, but we also have so much more. And I think that's what people miss. So I also wanted to just tell you, this is kind of relaxed here. So I want to tell you a little bit about my day because today I went down on Delaware and it is the Junior League Show House bidding day. So you go, if you're a designer, you get asked to go to these bidding days for these show houses and you go and you can see the house. Now it is so cool. So this house is at 800 Delaware. It is the old um, Grace Knox Mansion. It is 28,000 square feet, I believe. Absolutely incredible. I know I didn't post pictures. I will later because I, it's just been one of those days where I've been running a lot, but wait until you see. So then what I do, and I'm going to be updating you guys. So then what I do is I will pick three rooms, design them and submit them. And then they'll pick which ones they, if, if they want us to do one and if not. So I've done the last um, this would be my fourth. So I've done the last three show houses and they've been such wonderful experiences and the money always goes back to a really great cause and I feel good that like I'm like sharing my gift with something that does well. So I am going to submit and we'll see what happens, but I'll be updating you on my journey and taking you guys along. So thank you so much. All right. So I think now, since you guys are all on, on Facebook and Instagram, I'm going to start. I'll give you the code at the end. Don't worry. And then you'll save your 20% off of these items. But you really, really should check back um, regularly on the website because there's just so many new little stuff. All right. So one of my, I'm going to start with this company because I think it's so, so cute. I know I should probably start at the top and work my way down, but I really want to show you this because I love these mom i know you're gonna love these i know you're gonna be calling me and telling me to save you one you guys i have a new company of birdhouses i know look at they're all like little cottages so they're all wood there's all different kinds on the website that you'll be able to see the yellow ones are going to be 20 percent off um so this one is called the victorian cottage it's regularly priced at 60 dollars Look at the little windows and everything. They're actually birdhouses. You can actually use them. They open up in the back so you can put bird seed in there or if they happen to build a nest or whatever, you can put, you can be able to get in and access things. I love it. Um, Dorothy is saying, I was at your show house where you did the kitchen and a lovely green quartz countertop near the art museum. Yes, that was so fun because I got to partner up with a couple other people. So Karen from the tile shop and um, Auburn and Watson, and we designed that kitchen. That was a good one. I did like that one. Okay, so this is those cute little bird houses. <clears throat> There's also some that are coming in white. Really, really cute. So this is a new little company for us. I hope you can see all the little details of them. It's getting to be that time where the bird birds will hopefully be out. I'll tell you what's been happening to me this week. The deers are ridiculous. We have so many deers by our house. They are going up on my front porch. I have like still um, my winter bouquets kind of like with greens and stuff all shoved in there on my front porch. They take my greens out. They're taking my greens out of my front porch. Isn't that weird? And eating like my garland and stuff. They must be really hungry. I threw like stuff out there. I'm sure that's, I think that might be illegal, but I did it anyways. All right, we got these florals in. They're the real touch um, little bouquets, little roses. They come in the white and the pink and in this pretty coral. They are $15. You know, I'm fussy about my florals. These ones are fabulous. There is a nice grouping, a perfect little size. I think they're probably, did they say on here, 10 inches. There you go, I don't even have to guess. So they're like 10 inches. And their colors are so pretty. I love this corally color. I hope it's coming. There's a little bit of a weird glare on Facebook, but I hope you guys can see. 
um, white, very classic, and of course that, that baby pink is very, very pretty. So we have all of those. I paired them with, I use them everywhere. I sometimes, they come tied up. Sometimes I'll break them apart and shove them into things. Um, sometimes I'll put them, use them in wreaths. So I do that a lot, but the quality of the flowers is really pretty. I like the idea of taking the white and mixing it as well with these other colors. So that's kind of pretty. Um, I also, a lot of people are like, oh, I can't do floral arrangements, it's too hard, whatever. These make it so easy. So what I did with this, I, I want you to see, is I just bent them and shoved them in there because they're, they have nice stems and you can just do that and then you don't have to cut them so that maybe next year you wanna utilize them in a different way. So $15, they'll be 20% off. This little vase, I love this. It's new, it's like so itty tiny bitty, it's so cute. It's called the Mini Thistle Vase in green, Grass Gleam. Obviously, this is a Mackenzie Childs. It's so very beautifully done. It is ceramic. So um, hand wash this, it's not the enamel wear, a little different. You can see on the bottom, I have the price ticket on here, but each of the ceramics come with a stamp. So it says made in Aurora, where it's all, all the ceramics are made, and also um, who painted it, which is very, very cool, and when it was produced. So that's the difference kind of between the ceramics and the enamel. The ceramics are all individually done. The enamel wear is also hand painted, but this is handmade. So that's why the difference in cost. But if you're new and you're just starting your collection, what a great little item this one is. So this is $58. You can put the little florals in there. I think I would love it also with the pink or the white. So I put that coral color in there, but kind of a great idea. So that, that will be 20% off as well. Okay, this is a new company as well. I decided my family has been doing a ton of puzzles over quarantine, so I'm not sure if we're the only ones, but it's been really, really a fun hobby, like especially Ashley, she's real into them. So I wanted to find cool puzzles, fun, different, unique puzzles. So these puzzles are a thousand pieces. There's all different ones. This one is Life of the Party, so you can see. Can you see that? It is a fun, that's the actual um, image. Then we have this one, it's called Feeling Flushed. So you can see, very, very cool. And then this last one that I got in is called the Meta Puzzle. And if you don't know what Meta is, it's the, I had to ask my niece who is um, a Columbia student. I said, what? I'm confused, what does that mean? And it is the art of thinking about thinking. So what it is, is you're thinking about doing a puzzle. Very cool, very relaxing. There's tons of studies about how that can bring your blood pressure down and your anxiety levels down. I feel like if you do it with a glass of wine, it may also help, I'm not sure, but I mean, I feel like it can't hurt. Anyways, these puzzles are beautiful. They're a great price point and very beautiful, um, well put together. So these are $36, they'll be 20% off. So that'll be a fun, kind of different thing that we have now. Um, they do seasonal ones as well. So I'll be carrying those. Very, very cute. Okay, down here, I'm gonna grab these. These are the Mackenzie Child's appetizer plates. And it's funny because I am using these in my kitchen. Um, I have like a little shelf. I So I wanted to show you how I um, use my products in a lot of different ways. Obviously, they're appetizer plates. They come in a set of four. They're really beautiful. They're the enamel, so you're not gonna break them. I love them. However, how I also use them is I'll put them on a plate stand and add just like a little pop of, of Mackenzie sometimes so that you feel like Maybe you want on a little bookshelf. I, if you've tuned in a few weeks ago, I showed you different ideas for bookshelves. This is a great idea because they're small. So setting them up on books and the set of four, it's such a good value because then you can kind of place them around. So that's why I added them because I felt like a lot of you guys needed just that little, little pop of Mackenzie. 
and they're a great size. Um, or a lot of people also buy these and use them as coasters if they want something um, a little bit more substantial. I also put in the sale these coasters, which are the corkback coasters. I love all of their corkback products, like their placemats and things, just because they're really easy to use. So these ones are a little bit more casual, also going to be in. These are $28 for the set of four. They're cork back. These are gonna last you a lifetime. These are very practical, awesome, love them. These are a little bit more elegant, 98 for the set of four. So two different options there. I'm gonna set that back up. Okay. Um, okay, these are new. I'm gonna do them together. These are new little items. These are the carrot dish for $38 and the radish spoon rest for $38. Look at the little, do you see the rim? How it's black and white check. These are Mackenzie Childs. They're very cute. And I love the carrot. I think that's so cute. So either on display, somebody bought them the other day to mount on their wall, which is kind of cool. They had some artwork from us um, that had some like kitcheny bunnies and things like that. And so that's very, very cute. So there's these two options. They are, the painting on this one, if you can see, is really, really pretty. Kind of like more um, of a raspberry pinky tone. And then the carrot dish, just a great size. So we have both of these. Going along with those are the salt and peppers that are new this spring with the carrot and radish. I mean, stop. I'm gonna take them out of here. Okay, this is the carrot. I think, is it more whole salt or more whole pepper? Marty's mouthing to me, what? Salt? Salt, salt, I think has salt more? is more whole because you put less pepper when then you shake salt. it. Yeah. Okay, so then the carrot would be pepper because there's two holes. And the radish with the little courtly check top. He's Googling it. I can hear him typing over there. He's totally Googling, Googling that because if he's wrong, then he's going to feel silly. And then the radish is the salt. So very cute. We love these and they're new. The opposite! <laughs> it says here, put the salt in the smaller holes in the pepper shaker with the larger hole. Because... I feel like Janice Lottie would know the answer to this question. What do you guys think? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> So fewer holes make sense because the salt pours faster and the pepper pours slower, so okay. you use more so holes. So the pepper goes in the radish, the salt goes in the carrot. Listen, Mark. You can make your answer. own rules if you want. No, you can't make your own rules. You can't make your own rules about this because all the salt would dump on your food. That makes sense. Anyways, comes in a very cute gift box. I love these. And ta-da, mice. These are $44, so that's a great price for their salt and pepper shakers, plus the 20% off. So those are kind of cute, and I think that um, mixed in with some of the other items, that could be kind of fun. All right, this is a new company as well. These are dish towels. I know that seems goofy, but I really loved these because they look like they came like something from the farmer's market, garden to table, they're called. Really cute. They are a recipe dish towel and then a, ro a woven dish towel. The recipe for the yellow one is kale Caesar salad. It tells you how to make the dressing. And then the green one is the green goddess summer quinoa salad. I love quinoa. There used to be, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I used to eat that all the time. Um, at Panera Bread, they used to have the quinoa and you could get the egg on it. It was like so awesome. Anyways, the dish towels are really cute. And they are 15 bucks. So they come like this if you need a little happy gift or maybe you need a little happy gift for yourself. $15, there's also a red one, which I just didn't pull because I was getting out of, um, all of the uh, all of the stuff here, I was running out of room. Okay, what else? What else? Oh, okay. I'm gonna talk about this. This is another one of those new little companies. So I think a lot of you guys know 
I do beauty counter also because I believe in high performing products that are non-toxic. So their deodorant, their hair wash, um, all of their face products, all of their skincare, all their makeup. I use all of it because if you have it, if you don't know, laws haven't changed since 19, 1938 as to what is allowed in your skincare and makeup products, which is bizarre. So anyways, I like to find non-toxic brands. This is one of them. This is called Persoma. This happens to be a really cool item. It's called the Digital Detox. Fight Wired and Tired Syndrome All Natural Sleep Aid. It's one bag for one bath treatment. Okay, I know that seems intense. One bag, one bath. I did halfers. So I put, I have a pretty decent sized bathtub. I put half of it in and I ordered this before I, before I was buying it for the store, I had ordered it in. And I will tell you, it gives you a whole process and I want to read it to you because I think it's very cool. Step one, disconnect and put your devices on airplane mode. Very key. Step two, hydrate. Throughout your experience by drinking plenty of water. Step three, pour the entire contents of the bag into hot, hot bath water. I did half. Step four, soak in the tub for 20 to 30 minutes of unplugged serenity. And step five, sweat and reset under a blanket or a robe as your body continues to detoxify through perspiration. I am going to tell you what it did. It pulled out the toxins from my body and I, for a good 45 minutes after, this is kind of gross, but I was, I was sweating out all of the impurities of my body. So it, I thought, wow, if it can do that, I really, really love it. There's um, French green clay in here and um, French gray sea salt. So the combo of it really detoxifies your body. It's $34, so I know that's a little bit pricey, but truly, truly really well worth it. And like I said, do 50, 50, because if you're, I wouldn't, you don't need to do this like every, I would do it once a week tops. And it really, really detoxifies your body. I have this whole line now carried at the store because it's so high performing, non-toxic, it's safe for you. And it's really, really giving you all of the, um, what, what, there's tons of different items. I'll, I'll be walking through them. Maybe I'll show you on my stories all the different things. But the products are high performing, really, really interesting concepts. So anyways, digital detox. Love it. Okay. All right. Another new company for me are these little bags. They're kind of like, um, they're not, I don't want to say they're not fabric because they are fabric, but they're and they're not vinyl. I don't want to say they're vinyl. They're like an in-between. I don't know what they actually are, but they're, they're weatherproof. They're durable. They're, they're waterproof. Okay. So they're $25. It's called the classic clutch, clutch wristlet in Burberry. So this I love because I think you can wear it like that. You can let it dangle, which I like that because my hands are always doing stuff when I'm with the kids or whatever. And so I really do like that. It's a nice size, even if you want to throw it in your purse as a makeup bag, if you have a bigger bag. Um, I think that's very cute. And it has some pockets inside and it's got that faux Burberry print. So I love them. I also, there's also a little faux Louis one, but I'm going to do the Burberry one this week so you can see what it looks like. And 25 bucks, 20% 20 off. Okay. Um, next up, I'm going to show you these. So one thing that I really, I never knew I loved Bloody Marys. I do. About like a year ago or two, maybe two years ago, I went to the Roycroft and they make a fantastic Bloody Mary. And I didn't think I'd like them because they were too tomato-y. So I never tried that. And then I tried the Stonewall Bloody Mary mix. It's fantastic truly truly not too tomatoey really really good so this one is the bloody mary mix then we have the pickled dilly beans these are the mild ones and they're really delicious and then we have the um pickled crunchy carrots classic and then if micro is watching 
He always makes that turkey bowl. He also puts in his um, Bloody Marys. He puts a strip of bacon, a, um, what is that called? Like the, the beef that you like. Jerky. Beef jerky. He Slim puts Jim. A, Slim Jim. He puts a Slim Jim in it. And he puts um, a piece of cheese, and it's the bomb. I love it. So, anyways, I feel like maybe that could be fun for you guys to have, like, a brunch. So, I did the, the Bloody Mary mixer and a couple other, other options here. You can get creative. There's even a garlic in there at the bottom. So, the taste is just fantastic on those little pickled beans. So, we have those. Sticking with food items... Jacob Buran and Mark Buran's favorite item in the store probably is this. Boozy bacon. Love it. I thought, Jacob said to me the other day, Mom, it's been sort of a while since you made the boozy bacon. So I, here's a mom hack for you if you have four kids. I have, all my kids have the Instacart app on their phone and we run out of stuff. I say add it into the Instacart app so I know what I'm shopping for. Just makes those working mom moments just that little bit easier. But Anyways, he added the meatballs in. So what I do with this is I put it in my crock pot with the mini appetizer meatballs. I dump them in, I dump this on, and I fill it with like a half a thing of water, shake it up, dump it in, and I let it sit. And it makes the house smell so, so good. And in addition, they are a no-brainer. They always work so good. So I make these always for football season, but now that that's over, it's saber season. Mark. I just want to tap into the savers for just one moment. I know that's your day job. Um, what's happening? They got to like pull it in. They got to like rein it in. I feel like I need to go in there and like get them fired up or something. What do you think? Yeah, you would get them fired up all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I feel like back in the day... I'm not sure. You always, people ask me that all the time. So if you don't know, Marty played in the NHL for a very long, very great career. 16 years in the NHL he played. And it was funny because I am the sensitive one. So like he would get pulled out of a game and I would be like crying in the car on the way home. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that I have it to you. And he's like, okay, well, where are we going to dinner? Like, on to the next game. That's the way like a real professional athlete's mind thinks. And I like suck it all into my body and like have to meditate on it for like weeks about everything. That's not the way you work at all. But I feel like if you could give the team one piece of advice, from your playing days that would like really pump them up, really get them excited, what would it be? I'd say, what's the uh, the bath um, thing? Digital that, detox? Digital detox. Because you know what? When I played, we didn't have social media and all of that, but now you're yeah. so connected. You got to clear the noise around you, and it's easy not to... What's that movie? And he says, get into the zone. No, he says, clear the mechanism. Clear the mechanism. What is that movie? It's Kevin Costner and For Love and Yes. And he goes, clear the mechanism. If you don't want to read the paper and don't want to watch TV, it's easy, but social media is constant. So get your digital detox, digital detox and sweat it out. Listen, Buffalo Sabres team, I am here to help you. I am not only going to give, help you come and get a digital detox, but in addition, I'm going to put these on the website that say, Go Sabres! And stop losing. Let's win some games. And I think if we all get these, it will really help. All right, so these are also on sale. These are new for me. They're the little porch boards, but they also have this little thing on the back. I think they're so cute, and you can, like, put them. I, I like them on the porch. I think that's cute, like, especially a side porch something. So they're $30 regularly priced. You can get them for $20. For, what is that? 20% off. Yeah. Do you think that that's going to help the team? Yes. So. I'm sure that's not right for me to say, but okay. What All right. Are they thirty-eight? Huh? No, the the little boards. Yeah. How much did you say they were? They're thirty. 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 Okay. Regularly priced. All right. So they're I'm, twenty-four. Twenty-four bucks. I feel like if we all support them, it might help. Okay. I have a he and a she of little bunnies, and aren't they so sweet? So this little man is in his overalls. 
And this one, she is holding her little basket of flowers. So very, very cute. Obviously, these are Mackenzie, and we love them. They are regularly priced at $128. You're going to get your 20% off. They are, I want you to see, there you go, so you can kind of see how sweet they are. The detail on them are, it's just so darling. I love these and display them in the store on the party tray. So I like the grounding of the courtly check on the bottom of it, so it really pulls that out. Obviously, you can put them in here. But that's what I do here at the store, and I like them as a couple. I think they're so cute. So anyways, we have those that will be included in our sale tonight. Do you see this beautiful balloon teapot? You know if you've been watching for a while, I don't do teapots very often because it's my number one top seller in the store, but every once in a while I'll throw you a curveball. So we have the Royal Check teapot. This is the two quart. I love it. I always tell people that, because they'll say, should I buy the bigger teapot or the smaller teapot? This is my rule of thumb. If you're gonna actually use the teapot, like for water and for tea, the two quart's a nice size because it's, it's easy to pour. If you're going to use it as decorative purposes, or maybe you make a lot of tea, but if you're gonna use it for decorative purposes or you just want it sitting on your stove, the big one is awesome. And it also depends on if you're gonna, how big is your kitchen? How big is your ceilings? How big is your thing? If you put the big one in a, in a tiny little kitchen, it might overpower it. So it's something to consider. But this is the two quart. It's our number one seller in the store. And I decided to add it because I was being wild. So, and it kind of, it looked pretty on my shelf. So that's really why I did it. But also because I wanted you guys to be able to enjoy it. So we have the two quart teapot. And so you'll be getting your 20% off of that. Along with that, with my Royal Check fans is this. The Royal Check enamel trivet. We just got these in. So nice for setting hot things on. I like these so that you know, especially if your countertops can't take heat or on your dining room table. So, so nice to be able to have that and they look pretty. Um, so these are regularly priced at $48. It also comes in the courtly check and I'll be getting them in stock, but right now I only have the Royal. Okay, we did that, we did that. Um, we had to mix in a little flower market. And I did this on purpose because I wanted you to see how pretty the flower market looks with the Royal Check. So a lot of people are like, what do I mix the Royal Check with? But I did this specifically because the joy and sort of the brilliance of Mackenzie is that it mixes into everything. Both things, the Royal Check and the Courtly Check. I feel like the the brilliance of it is that it can mix into any any color wall or whatever because there's so many different colors going on in there. The flower market has so many of those deep blues and I just think that's so pretty together. So I did both. I started setting my kitchen up. My daughter Ashley was like, mom, this is like the shoemaker that doesn't have sh shoes. My daughter Ashley was like, mom, um, are you going to be taking down the Christmas garland that's in the mud hall and the wreath that's in the bathroom? I'm like, you know what? <sighs> yes, I am. But it was a mom fail, and I didn't get it done. And it took me all the way till March, no shame. And so anyways, this past weekend, I started switching everything over into my house, started to spring clean. My day off is Sunday and Monday, and I really dug deep into like cleaning and switching things up, and I am doing the flower market in my kitchen. So I'll, when I get it all done, I'll show you guys. Okay, another new item are these pens so fun um motivational pens i'm all about giving yourself those pep talks in the morning and i have cards printed on my um, bathroom mirror so that i am constantly feeding my mind with positivity because who, who is harder on you than yourself truly some most times we are hardest on ourselves so i feel like that positivity sometimes you need it like for instance I really have been listening to um, Rayana on the way into work these days. That girl's on fire. Is that how it goes? This girl? This girl's That's on Alicia fire? Keys. Is it? Yeah. Alicia Keys. I Alicia just say Keys. play 
this girl is on fire and it comes up on my phone. Yes. But anyways, so I get into the zone and I'm ready to like pump out the day. But positivity pens. So these ones are so cute. They say work hard, you got this, choose happiness, go getter. I love that one. And make today great. So these are 15 bucks for the set of five. New company. Lots of cute things online with that company. We got these little bee hooks in. So cute. I obviously love bumblebees. So these are very, very cute. I like that they have the double hook. Um, these are great for dog. I like to use them for dog leashes, obviously coats and things, but you can always hook um, even in your bathroom. I hang um, on one of mine. Um, I don't have a bumblebee one, but I want one. Um, I hang like my dry brush on one um, or like uh, my towels and stuff. So anyways, these are $48. I like that double hook and you will get your 20% off of those. I was going to play the song, but I don't want to do copyright infringement. On yeah, because video, they'll, so they'll, they'll shut, shut, shut me down. down. They'll shut you down. So I, I don't want to do it. Um, should I pick the winner from the piggy? Uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good time to okay. do it. So you guys had so many clever ideas. I hope you can see in here. There are so many fun names for that courtly check piggy. All right, so Facebook and Instagram, I put you all in this pot and you will win a $50 gift card. There's a lot in there. I feel like the next time I get a dog, I should have the store name it because holy smokes, they had so many good ideas. Yeah, yeah there's a lot in there. They had like really good ideas. Okay, here it is. I'm like nervous. Okay, you ready? The name that they said that we should name the piggy is Harriet, and their handle is Solar KMS 2020. All right, sounds good. And I like the name Harriet for that little pig. I think that's fun. All right, thank you so much for all of your input, and you will get a $50 gift card. Make sure that you inbox us and we'll get a hold of you so we can either mail it to you or we can, um, you can stop out to the store if you're local. All right, what did I do? Okay, I did this, I did this. Okay, pots. You could also make your meatballs in this, but I use this for chili. I use it for soups. I feel like we're just getting into that like yummy soup stage where the outside is so messy and you just like want yumminess in your house. So, are you laughing at me? No. Oh, I thought you were laughing. No, what? but Tracy asked if those cute pens will give her the gift of perfect penmanship like Kelsey, your niece. Um, Trace, I don't think so. I think that that requires you to slow down and write slower, but I'm not sure. Although, I, you, all, you always write messy, but I always like what you're writing. So I feel like then it's a, it's okay. All right, you guys. So this is the seven quart stock pot. It's regularly priced at 218. It's a staple in Mackenzie. I also put this down because I wanted to sh show you something. It has that flower lid, but I've been doing some fun arrangements where I fill this with floral foam and do a summer bouquet or a fresh floral because it's enamel. And then I put this in the back or the side so that you can still see a little bit of courtly check in there. So if you want a fresh floral in here or if you want something that's gonna last you a little bit, I can help you make something. Or you can just come into the store. We have so many beautiful um, faux florals that are coming in on Friday. So if you're really looking for stuff like that, um, probably they won't be unboxed and ready until Saturday or early next week because it's a huge shipment. You guys know I do a lot of floral arrangements and I really, really loved this company. So I bought a ton of it and I think you're gonna be really happy. So if this is something that you like, maybe you wanna use it for your actual food, or maybe you want it to use it in a different capacity. Okay, next up we have these little bunnies. These are just a happy. I just thought they were cute. They're $25, more salt and pepper shakers. So the two is for pepper. The three is for salt. So, yes. No, 
the salt pours faster, so you put it in the lesser oh, holes. Shoot, why did I get that right? I know, it's so And confusing. I said it's so sassy, too. Like, I was, like, really, like, putting them in his place, and truly... Well, I had to know. Google it, so... Yeah, okay. They're in their little wagon with the little hay straws. So cute for Easter time and for spring. So we have this regularly priced, $25. Very, very sweet. Okay. Did we do everything on this shelf? Oh, we didn't do the baguette dish that I have this all in. Okay, let me do that. So this is so nice This to have on hand. This is the baguette dish. It's regularly priced at $98. It is a nice size for your bread. I also like to use this um, as a tray. So I'll put, um, when I'm doing decorating, that's why another great thing for bookshelves, um, especially if it's on a lower shelf, because the outside is not courtly check, so you want this down a little bit lower, like where I had it on this shelf. But you can put a couple little florals, things like that. I'm trying to look around to see where all my flowers are that pop up, like here. Okay, so we have these that are in the glass dish, but imagine three of these lower on a bookshelf like that, or maybe like a little bunny or seasonal. So I, again, use these products in a couple different ways. I also want to show you this because I think it's really cute to stick in there. Okay, so we have these all around the store. I don't think they're online, but, um, and they're not on sale, but these like a little egg with sticks and things like that. You can also do something like that and have it on your coffee table. So think outside the box with some of these pieces. You know, a lot of people are like, well, I don't need a separate whole dish for a baguette. Maybe you do. Maybe you do a lot of entertaining and you want that. But so what could I use this for? Candles by your bathtub with all your little sea salts on them or all your face products. There's so many different ways to use these products. So think outside the box. Okay, there's that. Okay, I need these. Okay, I love honey in my tea. So I always mix honey in my tea. These new tea bags that I found, I know this is so goofy, but I was so excited about this, have the tea, the honey all ready in it. So they have the granulated honey all the way in it. They are a bunch of different um, flavors and they're $6. Now we displayed them and I have seen this a couple different places and I thought it was so cute. In a McKenzie Child's box, put one of these and your teapot. What a cute gift that is and maybe a teacup. There's a couple different flavors, lavender lemonade, this one is Mountain Peach Ginger Green. That's the one I tried with the um, tea bags in it. There's four tea bags in each of these little $6 things. This one is Ginger Lemon Zest and Peppermint. So you could put a couple different teas in it and um, one of the teapots. And I thought that that would be such a cute gift, especially because the packaging is so darling. Facebook, I know that looks goofy because of the lights, but. There's a little bumblebee on top and a little bow. And I just thought, oh, wouldn't that be so cute as a gift? So I bought these and I love that the sweetness is already in it. It's not overpowering, but um, the honey does taste delicious in them. So there is that. The other thing that I did was this soup coop. And again, just because I was trying to think of items that were super, super versatile. What could you do with a soup coop besides serve soup in it? you can put a candle in it. Um, I have a lot of really cute candle wreaths coming in all different colors. I'll show them maybe to you next week, but that would be beautiful in here, like a six inch candle, or you could put, uh, or a six inch wreath, or you could put this inside the wreath and the candle in the middle or you could use it for candy dish or any of those things. So this is just a great bowl. I like to mix up. I, I like it sometimes when the outside is white and then you see the courtly check facing up. And I also like it when it's in the reverse sometimes where like the everything bowl is white in the interior. So it just depends on what you're gonna put into it. But as display purposes, I kind of like it when it, 
excuse me, when the inside of the um, bowl is actually the courtly chuck. So something to keep in mind when you're shopping. All right, these are very, very popular. These are those cork back placements. And I'm gonna tell you to the moms of the universe, these save my life. I do not have time always. I, like special occasions, I'll do my linens. But typically, I need stuff you can wipe off. And that is why I really like these cork back coaster or these cork back placements because I just spritz them down. I use now, I've been using that almond spray or the almond all purpose cleaner that we just got in because I love that smell. But I wipe them down. They're good to go. They're easy. And I think that's why I like them so much. They're very, very popular in the store, actually. $78 for the set of four. Um, and they also have the coasters. So both items are going to be 20% off. Um, okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Last few items. I'm going to show you these at the same time. We have this this is the most realistic tomato plant ever. And I love this for your kitchen. I think that's so cute with the pop of red. Um, so anyways, I put this in. It is regularly priced at $40. Size-wise, it's 16 inches. But I think now that we're switching over all of our stuff to spring, I really, really like that. The other thing is this and i had the coolest brainstorm for these okay so this is the royal check canister this is the little small this is 70 dollars obviously you can put gumballs or coffee pods or coffee or sugar or all the regular things but i saw the coolest thing they on um, it was with a different um it wasn't courtly check or um royal check but it was such a good idea she put inside um, moss first. So you, sh you know, you can just get at like Hobby Lobby some moss and she put that in. She put a few teeny tiny little Easter eggs in there. Um, like not the plastic ones, but that look like really eggs. And then she put a teeny tiny little bunny in there and it looks so cute. So I'm gonna, I told the kids to hurry up and use all the pasta because I have pasta in my bigger one and I'm gonna do that. So I thought that was kind of fun and then put the lid on it. So that's also cute for a bookshelf and especially if you wanna do some fun things in there. So $70 regularly priced and I wanted to share that idea with you. Mark, I need some money. I need to show, show this with actual money in it. If you watched the game yesterday, you know Rob Ray's got money in his pocket. He had out of his pocket square, he forgot it was there. He had a $20 show in oh. his pocket square. Okay. These are new products, so fun. These are beautiful, beautiful leather. And I wanna, the reason why I'm doing this last, wow, that's like multiple dollars. Well, you gotta put wow. numbers. Big spender these days. I hide okay. it from the kids. <laughs> okay, all right. So this, there's a couple reasons why I'm doing this last. I want your opinion on something. The people that watch all the time, I want to know what your thoughts are on this. Okay, I found this company and it's all the most beautiful leather patterns. These are only some of them. They're all on the website, but there's like the leopard. There's this pretty python. Can you see that? Really pretty. This one. Oh, I love this one too with the purple. And here's another one of this. Lots and lots. I, I think I bought like 30 of these. There's all different kinds of cool styles because I really loved the leather. What these are are those magic wallets. So you take your money and you just set it in there, close it up, and when you open it, to oh, my ticket, my t price ticket got in, in there. But you have it, so let me do it again without the price ticket because it's so cool. So you open it up. I think I had one of these when I was like in elementary school. Obviously, it wasn't gorgeous leather like that, but anyways, so then it has your money in there and it also has your space for your cards in there on both sides. I love these for all of those like little pretty bags. 
so that you can slide those in or obviously if you're just have like say you just have a tiny crossbody that you're going to the grocery store or whatever or you just want to throw it in your pocket also why i like when it's real leather is that it'll protect the um, magnetic strip of your card so but what i want to ask you guys is this they also make and i ordered in a pair that are so stinking cute can you go and get them for me where are they they're right by my desk in the box do you know what I'm talking about? No. Okay, well, you'll see it right on the floor by my desk. They also make the very cutest sneakers. Now, I ordered in a pair because I wanted them for myself. You guys, they're so cute, and I feel like I want to bring them in. I know that's, like, so random for this store, but they're so fun. Here, will you hand me one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to show you what they look I'll like. I'll take my money back and then I'll give, well, I'll you give it shoes. to you in just one minute. I'll give it to you in just one minute. Okay. This is just one pattern, but look at how cute these are. So they're leather, but there's tons. All of the leathers that you saw in these come in the sneakers. So I want to know, do you think I should carry them? I got these ones for myself. <sighs> with the camo and the black leather and I really love them. I will tell you I am typically a size seven and I ordered a size seven and I felt like I could have done a seven and a half. So you would have to order up a size, but I'm thinking I want to bring them in because I love them so much and the sneakers were so pretty. So what do you guys think? Yes, definitely. Aren't they cool? I know. But I wanted to ask you guys your opinion because if you thought if you're not gonna buy them and you're thinking that's totally weird and outside my wheelhouse, yes, you're correct. But I was like, if I like them and I couldn't find them anywhere, surely there's gotta be somebody else that like they had um really cool different leathers and prints, and I just think it could be fun. And they're like one of those sneakers that you can dress up or dress down. And as we go into spring, I think everybody's gonna like them. I'm reading you guys. Yes, I'm getting lots of yeses. Okay, on both sides. Okay, well then I'm going to look into it and see. I don't know how that all works with sizing and whatever, but I really, really loved them. So anyways, for now, what did I do? Which one did I put the money in? Oh, here. For now, we have the Magic Wallet. And they're so, the quality of the leather is absolutely beautiful. There's tons of fun different prints. Um, they're $35 regularly priced, and you'll get your 20% off. So... I think I call it, I don't know if I breathe, I don't think I took a deep breath throughout that whole thing. I was trying to talk so fast. Quarterly check daffodils. Oh, good call. Good call, Biron. All right, quarterly check daffodils. So I guess those weren't the last item. Okay, quarterly check daffodils. These are great because, can you see the end of those? I love, even if you just get like a couple and stick them in a pot with some moss around them. So cute. So the daffodils, very, very cute. Very, very different. $15 for each one. And you'll get your 20% off. So I love the daffodils. I feel like that's really fun. Try to find cool things that you're going to put. I mean, obviously you can do them in a vase too. But um, try to find some fun things that you can stick these in. Even if you got the teapot and you wanted to do a floral arrangement in the teapot. I do that all the time and it looks so, so beautiful. So something to think about. All right. I hope you guys had fun next week. The kids will be back. I know a lot of you who come in to the store are like, we miss the kids. I'm like, I know, but now they have, you know, lives and hockey and horses and school and all the other things. So, you know, I have to let them be kids too. But they will definitely be back next week. Emily already has her song all planned. Should be fun. Should, we're going to do a theme like we always do. They wait until you see this. Ashley and Emily picked it. So you know that if you know, if you've been watching this at all, you know that Ashley's something else. I hope you guys saw the video that she did the other night. Ay, 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 she's something else. Anyways, I hope you had fun and I've always liked spending time with you. I'm going to share the code right now. What is it? You know, I know the code, but okay. I was making you think about it. What do you think it is? I wanted to, I, I pick the codes every single week. I pick the codes. As well, Tracy picked it 
them sometimes, but I picked them a lot. And I always forget them. It's so much talking. And then I, I, I think, I know I wanted to say something with March. Yes. So I March did March. Into. Into spring. March into spring. March into spring. 20, that's your code. No, not 20. Just March into spring. Oh, March into spring. No 20 at all. Just March into spring and you'll get your 20% off. Of all of these fun items, go Sabres. Who do they play next? The New York Islanders tomorrow. Oh, you're old. Yeah, the next three are against them. Oh. Did you say I'm old? No, I said you're old. What would you call that, your ex? My old team, my, yeah. Your old. One of my former, my former, maybe. Oh, well, that's not fun, Mark. Like something like. You can't say you're old. No, you're old something. Yeah, you, you said it Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, like you are old. <laughs> I did not say that. I did not say you're old. Oh my gosh. Just produce the show. Mark, just produce the show. Just All to right. finish. Yes. Quickly, Marilyn says the smaller holes are for pepper, which is com the opposite of what Google said. What the heck? Just you make your own rules. Put your salt, put your pepper wherever you guys want to do it. Be rule breakers. And get your, get your pens. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you had fun like I always do on Wednesdays. I will be seeing you next week with the kids and get shopping. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. March into spring. No 20. Just March into spring. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a good night.